Hey my friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tori, if you're new here, and today we are going to be doing some shelf cooking meals. I put a poll up on my community tab on YouTube, so excited that I have that so I can interact with all of you, but I had a shelf cooking video or a 20 minute meal idea video. And lucky for me, the shelf cooking video won. I do have a lot in my pantry, a lot of sauces, a lot of random ingredients, onions, potatoes, just, honestly random things so i am lucky enough to just get all of these ingredients out of there and i'm hoping this serves as some inspiration for you to do the same thing i know we look at ingredients like this and think it may be easier just to throw it out but i'm hoping this gives you some inspiration to get creative in the kitchen i will try my best to type out all of these recipes in the description box below and if you are excited let's get right into the video we're gonna make a breakfast pizza. So about this much is going to be mine and I'm gonna sprinkle some everything but the bagel on everything. But I am going to serve mine with some homemade veggie cream cheese, technically homemade. Um, this is the Kite Hill Plain Cream Cheese. I have spinach, I have some broccoli under there, pepper and a little bit of onion. And I'm gonna mix that together and dip mine in there with some kale. And then for everybody else, I have some scrambled eggs, I have some pulled, Pulled beef ribs, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? Maybe it's pork, I'm not sure, but I made it in the crock pot and I just put that in there with some bell pepper and spinach and onion. And then that's gonna go on the other half with some pepper jack cheese. And this is super simple. This is a meal we can all eat together. And let me show you how I put it together. I know you're thinking that this may not be a shelf cooking meal but i assure you that it is i really had to get that beef out of the freezer and then this pizza crust was also in the freezer and it just needed to be used up and we just keep getting this overabundance of eggs from our sweet neighbor it's amazing that she thinks of us this will go in the oven at 400 for around 15 minutes. And then in the time that takes, I'm gonna mix up my cream cheese. All right, this is really easy. I'm just going to take my veggies, leave it in there. I'm gonna open up my cream cheese. I can do that. Does anyone else have issues with this kind of thing? I don't know if it's because we're in elevation and it seems like things are pressurized more, but there we go. All right. Looks just like regular cream cheese here. You can make so many things with this. You can make desserts, you can make, you know, just your typical bagel and cream cheese. I like to put it on grilled cheeses and it tastes really good. If you are looking for something dairy free, I urge you to try Kite Hill. I don't, I probably talk about Kite Hill in every video. You're probably annoyed with that, but it's so good. <laughs> it's almost like I can't stop, can't stop. Yeah, yeah. All right, here is my plate. I cut my bagels into sticks. Here's that veggie cream cheese, and then I'm just gonna put some kale with the balsamic and salt and pepper and olive oil on top of these and kind of eat it bite by bite. And then here are the pizzas. They're probably gonna dip it in hot sauce. They like the crust um, and cheese kind of crispy like this, so I'm going to serve it like that. Next, we are making some sweet Thai chili tofu. I did forget to mention that I cleaned out my freezer as well and I had some tofu in there. So I am going to use some of this brown rice, a little bit of tofu that I pressed and I'm frying now. I'm gonna put some salt and pepper on there and a little bit of ginger powder and then just a dollop of sriracha. It's a little spicy for me, but I'm gonna mix those two things together and make a dipping sauce as well. And then I am going to use some of these old cucumbers, not looking the best, but they still taste fine, and some sweet red Thai chili sauce to put into the sushi. This could be a bowl without the nori, please remember that. And these shots are a little bit out of the picture here. I have my crock pot going, so I apologize, but it's just your standard sushi making like I normally make. I'm gonna make three rolls out of this and then make some dipping sauce. Love in every glass I'm drinking. We're like one without you, I'm sinking. I'm always 
I love sushi because I can eat so much of it and not feel too guilty and it is so easy and low budget. I encourage you to try this recipe. Next up is going to be these black bean tacos and it is based on the amount of black beans I have in my pantry. It's honestly embarrassing y'all. I'm going to put some rotel in there and some kite hill cream cheese. I'm going to mix this all together with some onion powder, a little bit of black pepper. I'm going to put some chili powder in there and cumin and call it good. That is my DIY taco seasoning when I don't have any and this is going to be like my taco meat if that makes sense. I'm going to cook that on low for around 10 minutes and try and mash everything together. And then I'm gonna top my tacos with some guac, a little bit of spinach, and then I have some taco sauce as well. We're not young, but we're still free and running. And this day has never kept us bothering. Every day we dance and life's been smiling. We're not young, still drunk in love. I forgot to mention the amount of corn I have in my freezer, so that is on this taco, and this made so much. I just used it the next day for a dip with some chips. My son is all about dipping, which I love because I love dipping too, and this was super filling, and I love that it made some leftovers for everyone. All right, next up is going to be these roasted red potatoes. I showed you in the last video that I roasted them alongside of my spaghetti squash, and I am making these little baked potato bites. This was my alternative for deviled eggs, believe it or not, um, when I went vegan just because I didn't eat eggs and I found that a lot of picnics had deviled eggs. So what I did was bake these little tiny red potatoes and I scooped out the insides. We're gonna use that potato as a base for the filling of these. I'm gonna throw in some red onions as well as some Dijon mustard. I'd say about a half of a teaspoon there. I'm gonna do some just mayo, about a tablespoon or a tablespoon and a half. And then I'm gonna season with some salt, pepper, and garlic salt. And then I fill these in and top it with some dill as well as some Cajun seasoning. I know that sounds odd, but that was a spice in my spice drawer that was just kind of go to waste and I didn't want to waste it. So I'm gonna sprinkle it on top and from here on out, I'm gonna put Cajun seasoning on these. They are delicious and this is a great one to take to a picnic, not necessarily a meal, but a nice little side and change up for the video. about a cup of quinoa you are gonna have about two tablespoons of oil <laughs> one baby scream <laughs> you're gonna need about a half cup of bell pepper of your choice or you could use jalapenos or hablanos would be good in this you're gonna about you're gonna have about a half cup of red onion And then whenever you're cooking quinoa, you just do one to two. So I'm gonna do two cups of veggie stock. Cook this at probably a medium heat for around 25 minutes. Now you're gonna make your sauce. So that just consists of some chickpeas. They are rinsed. 
I'm gonna put mine in my little food processor here, but you could put it in a high-speed blender and you might get a better texture. Then I am putting some buffalo sauce in here. I'd say about a half of a cup. And then I'm gonna put half a package of the Kite Hill cream cheese. So now that everything is good to go, I started watching this guy on Instagram. I don't remember his full handle, but his name is Pierce and he makes these incredible dips like this and he puts the sauce on the bottom. So I'm putting my sauce on the bottom with some green onions, topping it with that warm quinoa, and then I have some fresh oregano that I'm going to top it with. I served mine with some sourdough bread and kind of made a dip out of it. friends today here is what I do for vegan crab cakes so I have some chickpeas in here a half of a can so that is about seven ounces or so and I have some artichokes here this is half of the jar that is I want to say that's four ounces so we'll just say three ounces of artichokes I have some panko breadcrumbs Dijon mustard vegan mayo I have salt pepper onion powder, and Old Bay seasoning. And then in my husband's, I just have these fake crab flakes. So I'm just gonna mix this together and then put half in here, and his will be regular crab cakes. Um, and then I'm gonna bread it with some more panko breadcrumbs. Yeah, honey. And then I'm going to serve it with some everything but the bagel sweet potato fries, as well as some corn on the cob. So let me show you how I put this together. Well, here is my fail for the video. I'm gonna try them. They got super crispy. I had a fussy baby and walked away, so I will try them, but um, we're just gonna eat our crab cakes and extra corn tonight. All right, and this is how everything came out. This is my husband's plate, and he has the crab cake, spinach, some corn, and some cocktail sauce. So there's horseradish and ketchup in there, and some lemon juice, black pepper. And then for me, I have the same except for no crab. I have corn on the cob, and then I have homemade tartar. So there is some pickles in there, mayo, lemon juice, green onions, black pepper, and a little bit of salt. My husband, or my son has nothing on his plate. He's doing this new thing where, um, he won't eat only from our plate. So I'm gonna bring his plate over and just like slowly put things on there. I'm sure if you you have a toddler, you I'm, you know what I'm doing here. <laughs> so this is going to be dinner tonight. I'm super excited with how it turned out. And that is going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for voting on this community tab. I love figuring out what kind of videos we are going to do. These shelf cooking meals were probably my favorite video to make, so if you enjoy these, drop it down in the comments below. If you have any questions or any ingredients that you may be stumped on in your pantry, drop that down as well, and I will come up with a creative meal idea for you. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not, like, and share this video. As always, stay adventurous, stay creative, and I will see you next time. Bye, y'all.
dive, I see you in 